Wireshark. Wireshark.org. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer, which is a tool that allows the user to monitor, track, and analyze activity on a network. Wireshark is the industry standard for government, corporate, and law enforcement clients around the world. Wireshark provides a feature-rich platform that enables the user to capture live network traffic from a variety of sources. Wireshark is equipped with dozens of features such as VOIP analysis, protocol decryption, multiple search filters, and an easy-to-use graphical user interface. Wireshark is an advanced tool, and it is suggested that the user already has a firm grasp of cybersecurity and networking fundamentals before using this tool. It is still possible for a beginner to use Wireshark, however, many of the tools and functions may be difficult to understand. Downloading Wireshark Software First go to Wireshark.org and then click the Download button or scroll to the Downloads section. Now click the Stable Release tab on the left side of the screen. From here you can choose which download type you need depending on your operating system. Once the file is finished downloading, begin the installation instructions. You will reach a point where the installer will ask you if you want to select NPCAP or WinPCAP. Go ahead and select this box, then click Next and finish the installation. Using Wireshark First, run the application as administrator on Windows. On Mac OS, you may need to change the privileges to read and write by right-clicking and selecting Sharing and Permissions. The application will start and you will be taken to a home page that looks like this. From here, you can see which connections you have and may notice that there is a network traffic flowing on the right side of the chart. You can select which one of these networks you want to analyze and then move on to the next step. If you're ready to start capturing packets, then click the blue shark fin at the top left of the screen. You can stop the capture at any time by clicking the red box on the top left. Once you start capturing packets, you will notice that you have three available views on the main screen. The top screen is the packet list, the second is the details view, and the third is the bytes view. Each three provide you with amplifying information on the packets you are analyzing. The packets list shows all the available packets that are being captured during their transit through the network. Each packet has its corresponding information located to the left and right. This includes time, source, destination, protocol, length, and additional information. They will also likely be color-coded, which represents different rules that can be changed in the software. You can change the format of the packet list view by clicking on the View tab, then hovering over the Time Display Format option. You may also notice brackets and lines located on the left side of each packet. This indicates whether or not the packets are a part of the same conversation or if they are isolated packets. Connected by brackets means that they are in the same conversation and a broken line indicates that it is not. Next, we will examine the Details View window, which is located in the middle of the screen. This view examines packets details such as frame details, IP address information, protocols, encryption details, and much more. If you are using the software along with this presentation, then feel free to click the drop-down menus located in this section and explore the data you are able to observe in the packet details view. Next is the bytes view, which the last section located at the bottom of the screen. This section shows the raw data of each packet in hexadecimal format. Selecting data in this section will automatically select the corresponding data in the other two views. You can also change this information into bit view, which is done by right-clicking the section and selecting as bits. Wireshark filters. Network forensics requires gathering a large amount of complex data. When analyzing this data, it is important that we easily find what we are looking for. This is done through using filters which allow us to view very specific data such as specific protocols, source, and destination IP addresses. 
The quickest way to filter the data is to use the search bar at the top of the screen located just below the menu bar. You simply type in a filter and then press enter to start the filter. As you start typing, the program will use autocomplete to provide several options that you may be looking for. You can also click the bookmark at the left side of the filter search bar and then select from one of several pre-programmed filters in the menu. If needed, you can also add your own pre-programmed filters by selecting Manage Display Filters under the Bookmarks section. Coloring rules are another tool available in Wireshark that can allow you to quickly identify certain types of data. To view and edit the color rules, click the View tab at the top of the screen and then select Coloring Rules in the menu. Here, you will be able to view and edit all the existing color rules provided in the default configuration. Packet Capture Statistics is another feature found in Wireshark which can be accessed on the top menu bar. Clicking this tab will create a menu bar with multiple options for analyzing the data you've captured. The Statistics option provides detailed insights about packet conversations, internet protocol types, load distributions, timing information, and much more. The Protocol Hierarchy under the Statistics tab is a useful tool for determining the amount, type, and proportions of each protocol within a capture. This includes information such as internet protocol versions, network connection types, and the percentage of bytes for each protocol type. The Conversations tab provides a descriptive explanation of the packets captured. This can help you to understand the flow of network traffic from which source to which destination and how much data was transferred. The Flow Graph shows you a visual depiction of the flow of network traffic. This can help you to understand exact processes that took place as one node connected to another on the network. Most of the work done in Wireshark will involve the investigator scanning through data with various filters and utilizing the Statistics tab for amplifying information about the packet captures. Similar to Autopsy, you must know what you are looking for in order to find it, as there is usually a lot of data and information that is not relevant to your case. This could include data such as IP addresses, which could be associated with certain suspects. Once you know this, you can filter your search to look for all the traffic originating or going to this source. Here, you can then analyze the data in the Details view to determine if it has any relevance to your investigation. This is essentially all you need to know to begin conducting network forensics using Wireshark. There are many more elements of the software that you can learn, but they are not necessary to get started. If you desire to learn more about Wireshark, then you should use the Wireshark User Guide, which can be found here. Wireshark.org slash docs slash WSUG underscore HTML.